Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing Space Agency. Once again, we are doing mission number 15, which is the Grand Tour. We will get to see some other planets for the first time. I'm so excited. Alright, so as always, we will start in our briefing here. For mission number 15, the Grand Tour. We must launch the Voyager X antenna into orbit. Launch the Voyager X body into orbit. Dock the two parts together. Connect the antenna's power. Photograph Loon. Photograph Green. Photograph Red. And Photograph Yellow. Our allotted budget is 100 million dollars and the max time is 20 minutes zero seconds the outer planets are currently in perfect position for a low energy flyby our scientists have developed a new spacecraft especially for this mission the Voyager X the Voyager X is a large spacecraft and so has been broken down into two parts for launch launch both parts into space and assemble them in orbit. Once assembled, set a course for Loon, then green, red, and finally yellow. Take at least one photograph while in orbit around each planet. Fuel is very limited. Use it sparingly. Keep the spacecraft at close to escape velocity. Use the main engine to dip slightly above or below the speed required to either enter or escape the orbit of each planet. So we are going to be going for the gold award which means we must do this in less than 14 minutes with no checkpoints and at a cost of less than 22 million dollars alright so let us build our rockets here we have our payload the Voyager and the Voyager antenna so these are our very big heavy components but i think that we can do this with a small rocket so i am going to launch a long march and then we do need the heavy module here and then we're going to need some boosters here so let's go with the long march boosters and then we will launch the antenna first and then after that we need just a fairing so here is our first rocket at a cost of uh, eight million six hundred and seventy five thousand dollars so at this rate if we can launch this if we can launch both of these, that is, uh, we're going to use the same rocket, same parts. The only difference go is going to be the payload. So that means it's going to cost a total of $17,350,000 for these two rockets, which is well below our allotted 22. So we will hit the launch button and then we'll go back and we're going to make our second rocket so we'll be ready to go right away uh, get another heavy tug module put the other long march boosters on this and then the payload we want the Voyager body who is this fairing gonna fit oh so apparently the thrusters stick out a little bit past the fairing, but oh, it's fine. They disappeared. We're good. We're all good. All right, so here's our second rocket. We're ready to go. So I'm going to launch, and I'm going to skip ahead. And at about four seconds, I will hit the ignition, give myself plenty of time here. And here we go. And we'll get up to full speed. It's really fast when you're using the uh, Long March rockets. It's really, really powerful for being such a, well, a small stage rocket. Um, like, the Long March, I feel, is equivalent to the Black Arrow, which is medium stage. 
The only difference is with the black arrow, you can use, um, what am I looking for here? A heavier set of boosters. So the black arrow is capable of doing a slightly larger payload overall, but you know, for a, for a small stage, the long march is a very good rocket overall. All right, and we will keep pulsing. And we're going to Approaching it. cut the rocket. And oop, oop, I hit, hit the button a little too late. That's okay. We can get rid of the fairing. And now we'll go back and we will launch our second Five, rocket. Four, and three, hit two, our ignition. Ooh, ignition that was close. We almost didn't have that second uh, thruster light. That would have been very bad. Uh, this video might not have continued. I don't know. I seem to remember that we had one a little while ago that I pressed the button a little too late and it didn't launch uh, one of the two thrusters and we still made it into space. So I probably would have tried it, but who knows what would have ended up happening. All right, so we are halfway into space. Our boosters have separated and now we will just kind of, you know, bounce ourselves pulse ourselves into space. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'm going to separate it. I'm going to just hold it down and then I'm going to separate like right Approaching now at the down. last possible minute. Perfect. And we can get the... Oh, crap. What are you doing? Get back there. Alright, I'm going to Halo let released. the... There it is. Let that go right now. Check my speed. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to speed up, get myself real close, and then use the thrusters on this tug to slow myself down. Right there, that's perfect. Now, we must remember to connect the electricity, because if not, there is an objective. Connect the antenna's power. If you do not connect, ooh, no, do not exit. If you don't connect the antenna's power, the rest of your stuff will not count. So you will go through the mission, you will take your photographs, and it won't count. So make sure, 100% sure, every time that you connect the power when it tells you to. All right, so our first target is the moon. So we will prepare for the moon. We will launch, bam, just like this. Okay, so we want to turn and we want to boost while we're turning. There we are. That's perfect. That's actually almost exactly perfect. So I am going to cancel the turn right here and we're going to just kind of use our thrusters to speed up a little bit because since I wasn't quite perfect I you know didn't get ourselves to full speed before I turned around but that's fine it's perfectly fine now how fast is our power draining 99% okay because we're generating 456 but we're only supplying one that's perfect so we will just continue on this heading and we will kind of scroll down because I want to see how close we're going to be. We're, we're moving slightly to the outside of the target for the moon, but yes, we're going to be with, well within the orbit of the moon. So, when we start getting close, I'll show you guys. This is going to be awesome. We're going to... We're going to start to slow ourselves down, and we're going to stay just inside the escape velocity. And then we will rotate at, like right now, at like 40 or so meters, units. And then we can take our picture inside the orbit, just like that. And then we can... Oop, 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 I hit the wrong direction. All right, and I want to check and verify. Five completed. Okay, so we have photographed the moon. All right, so next we go to the Voyager, and we get ready, and boom, we are off towards green. And I'm just going to keep speeding ourselves up, and we're going we're gonna to go a little closer. There we are. 
Okay, so green is a little bit further away, so we have a little bit of time to relax here before we have to get back into action. And then we're gonna, but we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna slow ourselves down at like 80 units, give or take, and then we're gonna start turning at like 50 units. And then immediately once we get in the atmosphere and the dish is pointing, not in the atmosphere, we don't enter the atmosphere, in the orbit, excuse me, once we get into orbit around green, we will take the picture immediately and then we'll be turning, we can stop the turn, and if we are lucky, if we did this right, we should be able to immediately go to red without having to, you know, float around in orbit for a few rotations. Because that would be slow. Now, I want to start checking because I don't think I can yet because we're 300 units away. But we're getting there. We're almost there. We should definitely be able to do this in the 14-minute uh, time limit. But let's see. So we're still fairly close to our target on green right now, which is good. Because I think... I can't remember. I think green has a fairly small orbit. Nah. Okay. It's fine. Um, we hit the moon. That's the one that really, really has a small orbit on it. So, preparing to slow down. So we're going to start slowing down right about now. And we are just underneath the... Um, just underneath the exit velocity so I will start turning right now also and we are almost in orbit and photograph boom we are done with the photograph zoom out get ready because we are stopped we've stopped our rotation and boom and now we are back up to speed almost I just want to Double check right here. Six completed, so we have photographed green. Okay, so let's begin the turn. We want to make our way perfect like this onto red. And then now we will once again begin our maneuver here. We will turn ourselves 180 degrees and we are ready to come into orbit around red now. Wow, this is, this is great. No messing around, just kind of low energy, turn and turn and shoot. It's, it's, you know, a flyby, just like they said. It's the future, guys. We're just going to casually, you know, make ourselves fly by other planets. Can't wait. 400 units away, we're getting closer. Looks like I'm still pretty good on target. This is awesome. So next is yellow. Yellow might be a little too close. I think we're going to have to I think we're going to have to go around red at least once on this one because yellow's going to be up. So I think by the time we actually get going straight again, we will have um passed yellow. But who knows? Maybe, maybe what we can do is we can leave a little bit after yellow and just correct ourselves. Because that would be awesome if we didn't have to go around. That would really shave it down our time. Alright, so we're 100 units away. So let's slow ourselves down in preparation. Boom. Okay, we're perfectly going to hit the orbit. We're good. So start rotating at 40. Because 50, 50 was a little bit too soon. 40 is like perfect because we're just perfect. Boom, right there. And ooh, ooh, if I speed myself up just like that, boom, now we're going to yellow. We are almost perfectly on orbit for yellow. There we go. Okay. So let me just verify, seven completed, yes. So now all we need to do is photograph yellow. Okay, so we need to turn 180 degrees here. Uh, and I'm actually gonna be inside yellow, oops, sorry. I'm gonna be inside yellow's orbit a little bit 
Now, if you guys haven't seen Yellow yet, Yellow is like Saturn, okay? And it's got the great big um, ring, the debris field, the asteroid belt, whatever you want to call it, floating around the planet. So this one, we actually do have to be careful about being inside on our target because there's the great big asteroid belt in the middle of the planet's orbit, and we wouldn't want to hit that. That would be very bad because we're, you know, pretty much at the end of the mission right now. We just have 500 more units to go and one more photograph. And then apparently we just, you know, don't care about this Voyager that cost who knows how many billions of dollars to make. We're just gonna, you know, shoot it out into space or maybe leave it floating around Saturn. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is we're, we're coming right up pretty soon now. Yes, and we're not, we are inside on the orbit. It almost might be worth it to correct now. Uh, I don't want to correct. I'm close on fuel. I, I don't want to, you know, use up absolutely all my fuel in case something happens. But we are, we're moving out. Oh, we're, so, we're going to be, we're going to be close on this one, I think. Although, we might be, we're a little, oh, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Okay, so we do not need to worry about yellow. We're good. We can slow ourselves down. Boom. Just like that. We're going to start rotating now. I know it's a little early. That's fine. We just need to take the picture. So we're going to come into the atmosphere just like this. And I said atmosphere again. Boom. There's our picture. And we should be done. Mission Perfect! Complete. Okay. So that is mission number 15. The Grand Tour of the Atmosphere. Completed in 10 minutes and 29 seconds. At a cost of 17.4 million dollars. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this has been the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have a wonderful night.